Facebook eye and as it moved across our area produced obviously those really strong winds and extremely heavy rainfall. In fact, take a look. One of the reasons why it was able to become a cat five in October is water temperatures were at record levels in the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, two to three degrees Fahrenheit higher than they would typically be. And this is called the climate shift index from climate central, and they determined just how much more likely climate change made these particular temperatures, this warmth of temperatures. And they found that climate change made the water temperatures 400 times more likely today than let's say back in 1900. And that obviously fuels stronger hurricanes. So let's talk about the connection between climate change and hurricanes. Warmer air and warmer water amplifies rainfall. A study came out and found that in Helene, it was up to 50% more rain climate change. Hotter water leads to more rapid intensification. In fact, storms are more rapidly intensifying about 20 miles an hour more than in the 1980s. And lastly, uh, it is now two times more likely that a run of the mill hurricane becomes a major storm than it would have back in the 1980s and major storms cause 85% of the damage.